There are many trailheads along the Going to the Sun Road. From Saya Bend, you can head up to Pigan Pass or to Saya Pass. And I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Pigan Pass is a 9.2 mile round trip from the Sun Road with over 1,700 feet of elevation gain. You can also get there from Many Glacier, where it's about a 12.4 mile round trip. It's just about as far to Saya Pass, but there's about 300 additional feet of elevation gain. Much of the trail and the elevation gain occurs when you're in the trees. The trees are thick, but there are a few views of the mountains, and you never know who you're going to have to share the trail with. There's a couple of creeks to cross, too. A little bit past the halfway point, there's another trail. Saya Pass is to the right. It's closer, but it has 300 feet more of elevation gain. And that's why I decided to go to Pigan Pass should have realized I made the wrong choice when I saw fresh bear scat a few minutes later. But beyond that was what turned out to be my favorite part of the trail. This long scree slope had more than just a great view of Jackson Glacier across the valley. The trail seemed to go on forever, with no reference points. But this weirdness and overcoming it made it my favorite part of the trail. A couple of hundred feet after the slope, you reach the pass. There's a nice little blue lake but not much else. I thought about summiting, but it's a lot farther than it looks. After some gorp and some water, I headed back to the car. at Saya Bend. I was feeling pretty good, and had I known what you now know, I likely would have gone to Saya Pass, too. It has a much better view. And from a nearby summit, there's a great view of Cracker Lake in Many Glacier. And by the way, when you're at Sun Rift Gorge, you'll see a sign to Saya Pass. This is the hard way. It has lots of switchbacks, and over 3,000 feet of elevation gain. But many go this way and make it a 10-mile point-to-point trip to Saya Bend.